Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So today in this video, we'll be talking about the Optum software developer interview. So recently, uh, Optum is con uh, conducting various uh, off-campus as well as on-campus drives for the freshers of 2022 BAT. So if you are a student of BCA, MCA, or BTEC, then this is obviously a good opportunity for you as they have a good pay scale and abundance of learning opportunities and in, it will actually enhance your skills so now talking about what is the procedure how they conduct it or what are the uh, particular rounds they take what are the questions asked everything you need to know about optum is here so before beginning i'd like to request you to please share like subscribe and obviously comment whatever your query is even if you like the video anything because these are the things that will encourage me to work more okay so talking about the recruitment process so optum does a simple recruitment process that's just a three round uh, process the very first is a written test followed by a technical interview and then the third hr interview so as there are only three rounds so please keep that in mind that each and every round will be an elimination round so it's not the case that uh, in HR interview you won't be rejected, you can be. So it's totally a good to go thing because each and every round you have to be vertical. Talking about the written test. So the test was actually, uh, so this is what one of my students or you can say one of the person mates who shared this. So it was uh, conducted on Metal platform. And there are 50 MCQs based on cognitive analytics, cognitive ability, technological questions, as well as one coding question. That was very easy. So talking about very easy, uh, you know the easy concepts basically asked in coding interviews are strings and arrays. Now when talking about uh, strings and arrays, why I'm saying always easy? Because saying an easy one, they won't ask you to compare two numbers, compare three numbers easy in the sense of what you have learned basically working on trees and all if talk uh, if talking about just a easy one so that would be like anagrams just giving an example not exactly anagrams they will be asking or uh, finding substring whether it matches or rotation of strings so basically these questions uh, come up to us very strings because that is not what you need to think directly and for easy questions, they will directly specify what they want from you. They won't uh, give you a long para to find out what is the hidden thing inside it. So that is all about the first round. And talking about the 50 MCQs, so India Bix is the very, very proficient or you can say a very efficient resource that's available for each one of you to practice for it. And even San Foundry is there. But uh, if you ask me, I'll surely ask you to go for India Bix, try out some questions. For cognitive ability, people do think that they would be able to do it, but it's better if you keep on practicing it because somewhere you may lag behind. Okay. Talking about the technical interview now, if you're applying for a software developer profile, so this is the major thing you need to keep in mind because technical interviews, all that has to be done good. So it is basically conducted on Microsoft Teams. Now, the interview will range from 30 to 45 minutes not even more than that and basically for everyone the average duration would be 30 minutes now first the interviewer would obviously ask you to introduce yourself then asking questions from the resume now that is what every interview would follow up the very first thing would be to tell something about yourself followed by what your interviews or uh, what your resume says because each and every interview has a copy of your resume and the basic things they ask about is your projects projects or any past experience that you have mentioned so please be particular you mention only those things in the resume that you are actually aware of or only those projects which you have actually worked on they may ask you to explain anything or even they can ask you the same code to be written now obviously not a big 100 line code some part of it maybe a validation part or something else that's mentioned now coming to the things the interview will also ask you to explain left view of binary tree now this is a raised up platform 
because in the first round you have been asked some easy questions now followed by the other rounds where you will be asked an increased level of questions that's uh, somewhere medium to difficult now the questions range for left view of a binary tree then reserve reverse sorry not reserve it's reverse a linked list then array frequencies not just this that was the questions followed up could be differences between few programming languages now why are these questions asked because the person who was asked the resume mentioned all of these languages so there could be a question why you chose this and why not this or what makes them different if you know both can you specify or highlight some five or six differences so these are the basic things now talking about left view of binary tree it's a very common question nowadays because many tech companies are coming up with binary questions and binary tree questions and left view right view top view bottom view these four views basically have a great deal and then even the diameter height of binary tree so if you are not good at dsa please start working on it if you are actually willing to go in a good product based company now coming to hr interview so the ones who have made up to this point i would actually congratulate you for clearing it because uh, the clearing percentage of the second round is not that high in this company but if you reach the step then definitely you have a greater chance not 100% but approximately 80 to 85% now hr interview is basically about to know how good you are how good your communication skills are will you be able to manage yourself in the environment there or how good skills you have of team management and all so it's basic discussion between you and the hr to check your fitment okay now first uh, obviously the person would ask you to introduce yourself so keep in mind that's the very first thing they'll ask you so your introduction should be efficient and it should not be elaborative it's not about me i me i no it should be quick short and crisp okay then talking about strengths and weakness so this is quite common question we all have known so specify the strengths and weakness that are relatable to the company not the ones which are not relatable please be careful now what come what makes you different from others now in short they are asking you the strengths itself like what are the things that makes you different from others so you can specify you're a keen learner you try out hard you don't feel like quitting so these are the things that you can specify then a general discussion about hobbies and passion so the person who was asked this uh, had some time left or uh, from this so they were asked about hobbies and uh, passion or what are what is it so this is basically a 15 minutes discussion that goes on and the verdict for this person was that yeah he was selected so thanks for watching in case you have any queries please write down in the comment box like comment share and subscribe i'll be very thankful to each one of you thank you